good evening everyone now in this uh, lecture i'm going to discuss about the mosfet so we'll go very brief so so many books or so many videos you have seen so we'll see in a different way right so it's a metal oxides semiconductor field effect transistor so why it is called field effect transistor that will be uh, clarified you know later now so generally this physical structure will be like this so there is a metal and so there is a oxide layer then we will have semiconductor it is like simple suppose there are two metal plates if highly doped semiconductor is also simply a metal so it will that's why the metal oxide semiconductor it can act as a simple capacitor right whenever we apply some positive voltage here so the corresponding the positive charge appear here so there will be corresponding negative charge appear here so it will behave some simple capacitor how it will act as what are the cv characteristics that is a different case right so there will be metal then oxide layer is simply it is a dielectric material between two connecting plates now so that discussion that is a later cases but we'll see how the mosfet works so when uh, mosfet comes into our mind so we'll have two types that is enhancement type mosfet depletion type mosfet again in enhancement type there is a n channel mosfet p channel mosfet depletion type also there will be two types n mos and p mos so what is the difference between these two is so in the depletion type channel will exist initially then the moment when we apply some voltages the channel will be so slowly it will be removed and i will become getting zero so generally we are not using uh, nowadays so that's why we don't discuss about this one depletion type mosfet it is depletion type or we can say jfet uh, junction field effect transistors operations approximately same and the same current equations id is equal to id ss into 1 minus vgs by vp whole square pinch of voltage under this is gate voltage applied so this is different scenario so now it is only in a wheel assay means we are using only enhancement type mosfets now in enhancement type there is a n channel mosfet p channel mosfet first we will discuss the with the n mos then we will uh, convert this depending voltages and convert into p mos now when we take n mos so so the physical structure will be like this so the p type substrate will take there will be some doping of highly doped n, n regions two regions will be there then there is a metal and oxide layer so metal oxide semiconductor so there will be actually generally four terminals will be there one is source gate drain and bulk or we can say body also right so this is a n channel mosfet if we see the p channel so it is very simple the substrate will be n type and this doping levels will be p plus regions and there is a oxide layer etc and there is a metals right this is gate and source and this will become drain and there is a body b so this is about the physical structures of the n mos as well as p mos how it will become n mos or p mos that will be de defined by the operation So that we'll see now. So when we comes to mind in operation, so always remember we have to take help of the p-n junction diode. So whenever p-n junction is followed by us, what will happen, etc. But before that, the always source and bulk should be shorted together and will be given to the lower potential. So to avoid some uh, the secondary effects or uh, so body effects. So. that is later cases so always remember that this body is connected to source and it is given to the lower potential zero and vd is zero now first we need to make the channel first that is to we we need to enhance the channel first to flow the current for making the current flow now the moment when we apply the vg is greater than zero so what will happen generally is there is a positive charge accumulated at the the metal side now what will happen see the p type substrate will have more number of holes or major tick errors will be holes so this positive charge will repel this positive holes so by leaving behind the negative ions 
so whenever we push the holes towards the p uh, bulk side so what it will do is it will lose its positive energy or positive charge and will become negative ions when we apply very much greater than vgs is equal to i mean when we are going to apply more so we will get more number of negative ions in this beneath the this oxide layer between these two regions now what will happens when we apply more again so this is a positive so it will attract the minor carriers in the p top substrate that is electrons in this region and this there is a n plus n plus drains now they will attract number of electrons into this region and it will have electrons as well as the negative ions also which are unbounded so the moment when we apply approximately at vgs is equal to vt that is threshold voltage so this channel will be formed so how to define this threshold voltage is the voltage the voltage at which the voltage at which the number of the number of electrons present in the channel present in the channel will be equal to number of holes number of holes present in the in the p type substrate so this is also called strong inversion that is previously it was p type substrate now it is becoming n type material that means it is became inversion of the p type so that's why it is called strong inversion region or at the voltage at which the number of holes in the p type substrate is equal to number of electrons in the this beneath the oxide layer that is the threshold voltage now the moment when you apply the threshold voltage the channel will be formed and there is a depletion region also will be there but beneath the oxide layer there is a channel which is having a number of electrons now unless until we apply some vd there is no current flow it's very simple it is like this so number of electrons are present so what do you mean by the current whenever this electrons will move per unit term i is equal to dq by dt so so the, the whenever the movement of electrons per unit time though that will become a current so unless until these electrons move from source to drain there is no current flow that's why we will apply the vds and it should be positive so when you apply positive voltage this number of electrons will attract to the drain side so this is how to form a channel the remaining operation we will see in the next lecture